like to articulate some thoughts from the great investor Joel Greenblatt. It's worthy of pondering over its thoughts for a few minutes. One of the thought is people who get good at investing in small caps, they get wealthy as per him. To complete his above sentence, people who get good at investing in small caps get so wealthy that they can't look at small caps any longer because of the size of their capital. Then they go to larger caps. So there is a always new crop of small cap investors which migrate from micro to small caps. There is always room to start in small caps. Joel Greenblatt further explains that there is not so much that small caps are better, just that the small, small caps tend to get mispriced both on the upside and the downside, which is a great opportunity. Warren Buffett too in an interview some years ago said, if you give him to invest just a million dollars, he would be able to compound a million dollars at a significant higher CAGR than what he's doing at the moment. Why he cannot do that with large capital is that the smaller cap stock get filtered out of his radar because of the sheer size of his capital. Now, every single legendary investor would buy small caps till the time they can. Given a small size capital base, Warren Buffett of today, if he would have a small capital, he would probably buy something like a Seas Candies or a Nebraska Furniture Mart instead of an Apple or Coca-Cola which he's buying today. Small caps are mispriced because they are often too small for institutions and larger sized PMS companies. Now, this is a precise reason why at Walford PMS, we prefer to remain in a boutique size so that we can create that extra alpha to the investors. We ideally want to exit where the mutual funds want to buy and look for the, and after our exit to the mutual funds, we want to look for the next small cap, which will eventually become a large cap.